bastard. Hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 51. Now we've got another thrilling contest. Will a real team full of block, guard and mighty blow be able to beat a stupid shithead team um, of crap that happens to have a claw bomber? We'll find out soon. Anything can happen. In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. Um... We are running a competition this season. If you find every single Jimmy Fantastic video and place a comment on it, barring one video, which is a game between Underworld and Chaos, in which the Underworld beat the Chaos in round one of Chalice, uh, you can win a prize. <laughs> there you go. An unspecified prize. <laughs> An unspecified prize, yeah, but a really good one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's up there. Somewhere. Somewhere. This is an amazing team Kinroth has. Absolutely amazing team. Like, holy moly. One of the is best Roth, teams I've is, ever seen. Is Kinroth... Oh no, I'm thinking of Perivale. But Kinroth plays loads of uh, high elves, doesn't he? Well, that's why he's called his team elf coach, probably. Yeah, this, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great... This is a fucking great... This is like up there with Davos or great orc team, I would say. Um, you reckon this is winning? Definitely, I mean, it, this one, yeah. he's got Mr. Throw, though, he? Yeah, the, the weak point is the Mr. Throw. All these SPPs are Mr. Throw that could have gone other places. But, but you know, the rest of the team's still great. But yeah, you know, like this could have been just. Has he got a bench? Um, yep, through a bench of three. Oh, instant double skulls. <laughs> Into put. Yeah. In honor, stand firm. I hate this game. I honestly hate it. Is that Hail Mary pass? Oh my god, it's Hail Mary oh, pass. Oh god, it's Hail Mary. That's it. And uh, oh. yes, yeah, so Chet Sweezy downloads the TV. He's got a wizard, he's got a bribe, he's got a babe, he's got a Glart and Skitter that he exposed for some reason to get smashed in the first turn. Obviously, not a big fan of Gutterers. Why <laughs> Why on earth would, would anybody like a Gutterer on the team? How is uh, Skitter on the floor? He just, cause he just exposed him to a, a blitz on turn one, he didn't protect him. He instead preferred to protect, like, you know, his roster players that are all shit. <laughs> and that's... not gutter runners. <laughs> yeah, that's uh Not what I would have done. It's not not what, ninety Well, no, I wouldn't say ninety, I'd say like eighty nine percent of people would have done, but eighty nine percent I wouldn't say ninety eighty nine. <laughs> I mean, no, it's a bit much, isn't it? Because, you know, we've all played those 10% of guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow, Legion instant failed. fireball. Oh, instant fireball. Does nothing. What a terrible, terrible, terrible fireball. That oh, was. man. Jesus Christ. What a terrible decision. Wow. What can we say? What can you say of that decision to fire him? Um, he obviously got tilted by his troll being cast. Yeah. And he's like, honestly, mate, this is. I don't know, is it that bad a matchup? I don't know. Like, I mean, as Underworld, every matchup's going to be bad, right? Unless yeah. you're against another Underworld team. So it's. Oh, <laughs> gets the cast. Is that a sticker? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> it's the mid next game. Apo yeah. kind of works. Disgusting. Yeah, this is Disgusting. fucking spooky though, isn't it? Spooky Apo going oh, on turn Oh, right. It, it's squeaky bum time, Jim. It's, it's... Yeah. That was his, uh... Part of his anatomy <laughs> shriveling up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you pretty much know you're going to win this game, but now it's just like who's going to die on the way, isn't it? Oh my god, uh, Apo gone. How costly is this victory going to be? God, I hate on the world. I'm, I fucking hate them. I hate them. Oh, core banks. Oh, commander. <laughs> it's a horrible orc kit as well, by the way. Like, honestly, I've never seen that orc kit. It's so horrendous. Yeah, it who, is vile. Who picks that? I don't know. Like, honestly, scumbag. guys, what 
Kimroth, <laughs> what are you thinking? You immediately you deserve to lose this game based on the kit you picked. Yeah, and zero sympathy for all the players that die now. Absolutely it's deserve. Valentine's Day themes. What like they're not even love hearts. What are you on about? <laughs> Uh, Kinroth for Valentine's Day gets his girlfriend's horribly painted orcs. <laughs> <laughs> he probably gets uh, me to paint them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is awful, isn't it? It's just an eyesore. I don't even like the Underworld kit. <laughs> the Underworld's almost like Blackburn, isn't it? I, I had a Skaven Blackburn... Uh... Team. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Yeah, I did. I painted them like Blackburn. I thought it was a pretty cool idea because everyone did else. Did you name the players? No. Was this the Blackburn that won the Premier League? It was. It was at the time when Blackburn won the Premier League because like it was. Sutton. It was Alan well, Shearer. Yeah, it was Shearer, and it was <laughs> when my friend, who had been a Newcastle fan all of his life, suddenly started to support Blackburn when they won the Premier League. But then I thought they had a nice kit. I just thought they had a nice kit. That was it. I wasn't. I wasn't a glory support or anything. I just thought it's a pretty nice kit. And sure, wouldn't Ripley. it be interesting having a like a blue ball yeah. team that was painted like a real football team rather than just you know red or something? <laughs> you know. Wasn't Stuart Ripley an alien? No. Who's Stuart Ripley? Ripley was the woman. Was you know that was what's it called? Sigourney Weaver was Ripley. Oh. In the area. She wasn't called Stuart, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> what was, it was Ripley, wasn't it? Yeah. What was Ripley's first name? Ellen. Uh, huh? Helen Ellen Ripley. Ellen. Ellen. Ellen Ripley. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I didn't. And then. Ripley, like, is it a daughter in the in the video game? Um, no. No. It's not a daughter. It's the bird. It's the kid she finds on the planet, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah, LB four twenty six. So, so what's her name then? Because she's called Ripley. No, in, no, no. In the Ripley, she's called Ripley in the video game. Oh. It's starring Ripley, who I thought was Ripley's daughter, not Newt. That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think Ripley has a daughter in Alien. No, it's in the video game. What video game? The Alien Isolation. Oh, have you played that? No. No, I've never played it. It looks alright. I, I own it. Great. I got it for free. Oh, mate, you should stream it. Please stream that. I'll I'd, stream well, it. I'd laugh my ass at uh, for you crapping your pants. I will stream it just for you, Dimmy. Oh my god, it'd be so good. Yeah, Trend played it. That's how I. That's how I know about it. <laughs> she did have. Oh, the door died before aliens, right? Yeah, I don't know. No. It's a really old game, but yeah, I looked at it. I was going to stream it because everyone loved it when I played. Um, Daisy, all all the five people that watched it loved mm. it. Yeah. Um, because I I literally pooed my pants on stream. Um, Literally. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, will, I will stream it. I will play it and stream it. There you go. Uh, like people just love people pooing pants on stream. Apparently, like that's the uh, that's the way to get a million followers. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Trent shit herself a few times <laughs> playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, well, this was a game of Blood Bowl, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a great game of Blood Bowl always involves talking about people literally shitting their pants, playing a completely different game. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, this is the second Underworld game. <laughs> Jim made a fatal mistake of uh, casting two Underworld games back to back. Yeah, that was a fatal mistake. Yeah. It's it's hard to stay focused when when you see one Underworld team start to slide. Yeah. You just when you go into the second game, you're already in that frame of mind. So you yeah. like you like and now and then, and as we can see at turn six, it's over. This, this is looking pretty dire. Yeah, it's over. It's almost like Kieran Dyer and uh, Boya when they're a little row with each other on the mm. pitch. 
Kieran Dyer and Danny Dyer, that's how bad this is. <laughs> yeah. It's really dire for the underworld. <laughs> 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 I think I know which one that is, Arcane. <laughs> oh, don't catch me doing that. What bis <laughs> what biscuits have you got, El Dudo? Happy Christmas, El Dudo, but what 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 biscuits did you have for Christmas? That's what we want to know. Do you do you have like a instead of a cheese board with like bread? Do you have it with <laughs> cho <laughs> chocolate digestive <laughs> and cheese? Is that a new thing? Have I just created a thing? Oh god. Like, instead of cheese and crackers, just have cheese and McVitie's. Cheese on McVitie's is alright actually. Wow. Like, not chocolate ones, but you know, plain, plain digesters with cheese on, totally fine. Mate, I got. I was posted in your channel, mate. I got the old school Umbro socks, mate. I nearly cried, right? My sister bought them for me, and they're the socks my mum used to buy me when I was a kid, mate. And I, I opened these socks, mate, and honestly, like a tear comes to my eye, and I was just like, holy shit. And then I was just like, oh, man. Like, it literally dragged me back, like, 30 years to when I was, like, four years old, five years old. And that was the stuff that I used to get, mate. Yeah. Sisters are horrible, mate. They're, they're always doing stuff like that. <laughs> Pair of bamboo oh. socks. Oh yeah, bamboo socks, mate. They they stop your feet smelling and all that. They're like they're supposed to be legit. They're like yeah 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 yeah. I've I've seen the adverts on the YouTube. Now, but obviously YouTube knows through the algorithm that I've got smelly feet. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> it obviously looks at my face when I watch YouTube and goes that guy's got smelly feet. That's some bamboo sock adverts. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really wear socks outside of the, like, inside of the home. Oh, outside, God. obviously, I wear socks, because I have to. Click on this. Oh, I've got to have a look at this. Oh no, I can't see it because I'm in his Discord. There's a terrible link. But looking to bang on men in the logo, that's pretty great. There's the link. A good link from Jim. After the bad link from Nick. <laughs> that's a pretty great, great t-shirt to be fair. <laughs> Where's this thing? Oh, it's alright, it's a choking pit. Oh, it's even got his logo. Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? That's a lovely PC. You wet, what? You fucking wet. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty nice one. Oh, it's Dirty Rexo. Thanks, Dirty Rexo. Oh, cheers, mate. You must be, like, partially deaf or something. <laughs> I literally sound like a rhino chewing rocks. <laughs> I've got, like, the most annoying voice on the planet. Well, it's be and maybe it's just because you're on with me, Dimmy, that makes you sound better. Uh, I don't know actually, mate. I don't know. Like Jack Paul does an impression of me all the time, and it's really irritating. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably because it's quite accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh wait, PC. 
Oh, did you actually go to PC's house? Did he? Did he? Did oh, he look shoot? at that justice! The justice of not making that a three D. You only need one more assist. What a dickhead! No offense, Chet. <laughs> they were deep. How deep were they, PC? Six foot. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sure your pond's only two foot deep. <laughs> <laughs> there was four. It's one foot. He can't even keep that light straight anymore. Wait, <laughs> when I was there, when I was there, there was six apparently. <laughs> yeah. There was no, there was no offense, Philly. That was terrible. That was abject terrible, wasn't it? He was first of all, he wasn't trying the one turn, and second of all, he didn't even get the assist. Just I mean, terrible. like to be honest, Jim, like you can, you, like you can forgive the guy for you feeling overwhelmed. You can't try the one turn because his troll's been cast and he's he got scared of cast. But you know that you you can't just not make a three D. I mean, you just can't. And then he's still hey, KO'd, so I, he's got ultimate justice uh, for not making that I mean, like to, like, to be real, Jim, like he must have hit 70 Dode with his Underworld team. Yeah. Unless, unless the Dode was really low. Like, he knows how to play a Blood Bowl. There's literally no excuse for making the, the, the turn 8 block. You're already well, mate, strength you... 4 with 2 assists. There's no excuse for not putting in the third assist to make it 3 dice. There's none. With no rerolls, there's no there is, excuse. Yeah, 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 there is none. Yeah, there is none. But, uh... Like you can't, you you can also forgive him for feeling slightly defeated. No, I, I I don't I don't like care that he did it wrong. I'm just saying it's just definitely wrong, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's... Like I don't need to forgive him. I don't. There's nothing to forgive. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it was just terrible. It was just terrible football, wasn't it? And that's it was... the that's the that's the horrible thing about Chalice is right because for me. Like qualifying was such a big deal, like honestly, and then <laughs> when you qualify a really po like pony team, and you get a really good team, and then you start to see the difference in the teams, and like, and then you like you get to like game one, and by turn four you're completely helpless. Mm. Like you've had that like buzz and the high of qualifying into the first round realization that like. You're the worst team in the cup, and uh, and I ha I have I have been the worst team in the cup. I'm sure, <laughs> at, le at least twice out of, <laughs> out of three. <laughs> so, and that's included that's included the goblins, so all that sort of thing. So, I had the worst team once because I had all this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I nearly won as well. I nearly won against the Orcs. I've been a bit luckier. I played a bit better. I would have won with Orcs when I'm there. Won't be analysing this on the world team. Yeah, yeah. Mm. he's getting banged on. I mean, Kimroth is decent as well. Like Kimroth is solid. Like, yeah. And the thing is with Orcs, right? So like, even if you're an elf coach or whatever, like Orcs are just so one-dimensional. Like they're hard to misplay. Like, there's they're a very linear way of playing Blood Bowl. Like you just stand and you bang and you guard up and like it's. It's it's very hard to make mistakes with orcs. Why not just qualify the best team? Yeah, yeah, it's a good point, you know. Seabros had seven guard on his Amazon team. Why not just have seven guard on a Wood Elf team? Much better. Exactly. Why orcs did he re -roll Yeah, orcs, orcs do look good for them. That was a terrible reroll, my god. Especially like because like people who play like a hundred games a season tend to lean to bash over dash. So it's uh But you might get sick of playing Orc Mirrors, that's the thing, right? And I'm sure there's still gonna be some guys who wanna do the chaos and the claw and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but Orcs are gonna I mean, be baller for Blood Bowl three. Orcs are gonna yeah. be incredible. Orcs are gonna be probably the best team. You reckon without, without any doubt. I mean, they struggle against lizards, right? Lizards aren't in. What? Well, not to start with, right? No, but that's what I'm saying, not to start with. To start with, I think orcs are well, at, way ahead of everything else. I guess yeah. it's Skaven for one turning. But... I hate playing Skaven against the orcs. Mm -hmm. But, like, they can one turn, can't they? You know, with their insane one turn, they can just lie down and then one turn. 
Especially with like three re rolls to do it with, yeah. Yeah. So I think I oh. think Orcs will be the best team. And We're gonna nerf one third in by giving you three re rolls to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was nothing. The, you know, not nothing was done intentionally. Simple as that. Huh. Sounds like I, uh, when I offended every guest at my brother's wedding. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of it was intentional, Jim, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, Diamond Tackles had, uh, has proc twice this game, hasn't it? Huge. Really good against Stunties, to be fair, Diamond Tackles. Who's qualified Bretonians? Uh, and it's Cyber Knight, isn't it, with Chaos again? Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. Didn't you do the cup draw live? Yeah, I did. I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you seen um, David... Not David Williams. Who's the other geezer? George Groves. Give me the scores. George on the doors. What's oh, his yeah. name? George Matt Lucas. Rose. Matt Lucas, yeah. Oh, have you seen how skinny he is on Britain's Bake Off? No, has he got skinny? Oh my god, Jim. He's like he's lost so much weight. He Is he the only good. skinny in the village? Oh man, it's insane. Oh man. He's like lost like 15 stones. Oh my stone. god. Yeah. Oh my god, but that's so fucking What's weird, weird is he looks more ill now than what he did. Yeah, he looks he ill. Yeah, he just looks yeah. ill, doesn't he? He looks like... Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I saw it today, because I don't watch TV, do I? But I went around the... Uh, Mother-in-laws. Oh my god, yeah, he looks f ill as fuck. Yeah, British Baker for it. Yeah, and uh, Noel Fielding looks like a bit chunkier. Mmm. Wow. With some observations from uh, 2022. God, he looks so ill. Yeah, he, he does, just looks he? ill as fuck. I've got a friend who doesn't look ill, but he's uh, he looks unrecognisable now. I literally didn't recognise him because he's lost so much weight. Crazy, in like 26 months. Looks, he looks like a different person. Like his face looks like a different person. It's so fucking. Wait, weird. have you seen? Have you seen? Who's the big fat guy in all those films? <laughs> uh, he, you know the one I'm talking about. He's always wearing like a baseball shirt or a, or a, like a football shirt. He's in. He's in. Uh, is he in? Uh, what's the one where he shoots himself in the head with a rifle? I don't um, know. The, the ball's gone here. Something happened during the game. Oh, Danny Dyer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's How did this happen? The ball's gone and it's here and we should have been watching him. that. He served him, didn't he? He served him. Why did he let his ball carrier be served? Because he, fa he failed to dodge off diving tackle. Mm. Yeah, full metal jacket, yeah. Is it the geezer who shoots himself in the head? And he, he's, he's in loads of famous films. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Massive fat geezer. And then if you look at him today, like, he's really fit. And really, like... He was on Joe Rogan. Like, um, I don't believe the fat guy from Full Metal Jacket has been in loads of films. I don't know if it is definitely the... Form yeah. The Norphoria. Yeah, that geezer. Yeah, Google that geezer, Jim. The one that Kalon said. Hmm. He hasn't starred in any. Yeah, yeah, no, he's in loads of movies and he's really fat in all these movies. And I haven't seen him in a movie since he's not been fat. And he's literally lost, like, my body weight. Like, he was fat in Kingpin. Which is a lot, just the guys in chat who haven't when he seen was Kingpin, he was fat. in real life. He's not skinny in any pictures here. Well, yeah, just just Google him and now. He's mm, still fat. Oh, really? He's not. Mm. He's like a bodybuilder now. No, yeah, he's still old and fat. Hang on, I've got to make sure you guys are actually giving Jim the right information here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, it's not that geezer. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that geezer. Who the geezer I'm talking about? Who's the big fat geezer? John Candy, sure. he's a fat cunt. No, he's a. Uh... <laughs> He's like he's like in all the American football films. Fuck off, he's the big fat dummy guy. No, he's like, I'm really stupid, but I'm like the big fat guy. <laughs> he's like the one in Roseanne. What's he called? He's a fat cunt. <laughs> oh my god, Jim! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a fat John Goodman. He's a fat gentleman, isn't he? I can't think of any of the films. Is, it? is he in the Mighty Ducks or something like that? Maybe he's in the Mighty Ducks. He's lost weight, John Goodman. Yeah, is is that it? Hang on. John no. Goodman's lost loads of weight. No, it's not him either. Yeah, Salzak, I should try to not swear. I do try to not swear, but... Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I end up swearing sometimes. Especially when Dimmy's around. It makes me worse. I, I, swear I haven't sworn at all, have I? No, but you make me more comfortable. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> Which makes me want to swear more. <laughs> like, you know oh. what it's like, innit? You're on best behaviour and then your mates turn up and then you're like, Wee! <laughs> 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 So, what you're saying is you don't want me to do any more cards. <laughs> no, it's alright. <laughs> uh, mate, I, I'm really sorry. Like, I can't tell you who this geezer is because I don't know his name. Yeah, but he's like, he's like eight foot tall. He was in like, oh my god! You know he's eight foot tall. <laughs> he is. He's, he's like fat he's... and eight foot tall. There's nobody <laughs> fat and eight foot tall. Yeah, <laughs> he was massive. He's like the big fat guy in all the films. Like all the films, he was the big fat no, guy. There's nobody eight foot tall to me in films. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of the film that he was in. <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy Chase, that might actually be it. That might actually he be was it. Never like, fat. He was never fat. No, it's not him. No, it's not him. Keep naming people. <laughs> the <real> giant. <laughs> <laughs> if if anyone on YouTube knows the name of who I'm talking about. We're, we're also going to run a giveaway <laughs> that runs inside with this. If you, uh, if you can name the bloke that I'm talking about. He's in loads of famous films. Oh my god, it's Green Mile. Oh, Green Mile guy. No. Is he Green Mile? I don't know. Oh, there's a guy dead, look. <laughs> he's in loads of films. I can't actually name one film he's ever been in, but he's been in loads of films. <laughs> he has. All of you, all yeah, he's a white actor. All of you know him. All of you know him. Like, and you've seen him. Like, I, 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 like at this point, I'm going to draw a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Lister. No, he was on. Hang on. I'm gonna have to find it through Joe Rogan. Right, there we go. I'll get it now. Because he was on Joe Rogan talking about it. This is it. Ethan Suplees. So Ethan, I've never heard of him. Yeah, but Google him and you'll know exactly who it is. Ethan Suplees. So it's Ethan and it's Sup Lees. Sup Lee. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> a fat <laughs> bastard. Yeah. What? And now he looks like this. What? Yeah. That's crazy. 
And like, what film has he been in? He's been in like every film. My name is Earl, isn't it? You just in. <laughs> when did Satterfield put that in chat? <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? It's amazing, mate. It's like completely different. Oh, is he in My Name is Earl? Is yeah. He? Still looks terrible because of all the skin, doesn't he? <coughs> <laughs> you watch him. <laughs> I'm fucking nearly dying. <laughs> I nearly fucking died then. <laughs> Put his name in chat twice, you see not? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to comment on the YouTube video the name of the guy that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh god. Meanwhile this uh, this entire underworld team has died and nobody was watching. <laughs> What chance did we have when his name was said twice? My name is always mentioned, just <laughs> not one. <laughs> I've never watched that name is uh, What? I never really got into that. I think he was in it though, um, you know. That bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't you? <laughs> she looks like she looks like the one who's who's in movies nowadays. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. yeah, that one. They like they look they look exactly the same. Like literally exactly the same. Um, so before before the YouTube end, let, let someone in chat tell us who she is. You know, uh, she's in Wolf of Wall Street and uh, Harley Quinn. You know that one, and she looks like this old one that was in My Name Is Earl. Susan, Susan Boyle, that's the one, yeah. Jimmy Presley was the old one, isn't it? And the new one's Margot Robbie. There you go, I did it myself. <laughs> All right. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, whoever, whoever, Kinroth, Kinroth, and commiserations, Chet Sweezy. There you go, that was a game of Blood Bowl that we paid attention to for at least two turns. Um, thank you very much, Jimmy. It was great having you on, talking shit. You know who Susan Boyle is? <laughs> you know who Susan Boyle is? Everyone knows Sue Bo. Yeah, all right, oh, just because when you went, <laughs> just when you went, yeah, that's the one. Time. Yeah, I'm just being oh, a dickhead. No, I'm you. I was just being oh, a dickhead. <laughs> Thanks for watching, don't worry, this is where I stay fantastic. <laughs>